everybody, Chris Campbell here. With our 2024 Exotic Animal Show underway, I thought I would share with you another one of our little friends. This is one of our little fur babies that's going to be making his or her appearance in our show. This is a guinea pig. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with those. He, she is a hefty little pig. Let's say hello. Okay, it's okay. You can lay right here. It's okay. You just get right here. Now, a lot of people do not know it about guinea pigs. Um, being a zoologist myself, I have studied many years of all sorts of animals all over the world. And I remember when I was first studying zoology, the guinea pig was actually one of my first subjects that I had to study, learn about, and write an essay about. So the guinea pig is actually a rodent, basically a part of the rat family. Um, they come from South America. And if you ever travel to foreign lands such as uh, Papua New Guinea, uh, Thailand, uh, Malaysia, um, Peru, places like that, I would not want to pick a menu item because unfortunately guinea pigs are a delicacy on their menu. They're actually called Cray. It's C-U-Y. They actually, it's basically like here in the United States, we have chicken on the menu. We have all forms of different chicken from rotisserie, fried chicken, baked chicken, saute chicken, you name it. Well, Cray is guinea pig. It's a delicacy in those particular countries. They're either deep fried, they're sauteed. Um, yes, I know, I, you just, he just, she kind of whined. But unfortunately, that is the reality, is guinea pigs are a part of a delicacy in those countries. But guinea pigs in America are so cute. They make wonderful pets, and since being domesticated in the United States, uh, they have actually become a quite popular pet for school teachers, for schools, uh, science shows, science labs. Uh, daycares now have guinea pigs, and just about any American that wants a uh, first time pet for their children will usually get a guinea pig or a hamster. Well, guinea pigs uh, can get up to about two and a half pounds. They can live about 10 to 12 years in captivity. Um, in the wild, they can live up to 13 to 15 years. And they primarily are, like I said, a rodent. So they eat off of scavengers of whatever they can find, uh, trash, anything, vegetables, leaves, um, meat, you name it. Yeah, I hear you. I wish you could hear that. I don't know if my microphone over here can pick it up, but she is like squeaking. Oh, such a cute thing. Yeah, I know. But this is Brownie, and she's going to be making her appearance in my 2024 Exotic Animal Show, along with a lot of my other creepy crawler friends. Uh, we have the scorpion, we have the tarantula, bird eater, goliath, uh, tarantula, the world's largest spider, uh, uh, king cobra, gaboon vipers, vinegaroons, uh, sugar gliders, just to name a few. But this is brownie, such a beautiful little guinea pig, yes I know, it's okay. So if you would like to book us for your next animal show and let the kids learn a lot about exotic animals and how to care for them, their habitat, where they come from, um, a little history about them, hands-on experiments, please give me a call today at 864-608-5095. We are servicing all of the upstate and more with our exotic animal show. I'm Chris Campbell, the zoologist at Chris Campbell's Animal Keeper. Have a wonderful evening.